<coughs> so when you log into our screen and log into Salesforce, you have seen this in account table. In account table. And selection of particular account name. So yesterday we created this custom fields. Course as a drop down type and discount percentage type and give the fee value. If we give fee value then okay. And as per the fee and the discount value, a discount amount you are getting. It's in a formula data type. Fees 10,000 are given, discount 10%. As per that, when you click save, discount amount you are getting, the balance also you are getting. Fine. Now today we'll discuss about how to create custom object. How to create a custom object. Instead of drop down, instead of drop down, I require a lookup field like this. I require a lookup field. When you click this lookup icon, it connects to custom object. In the custom object, you have multiple columns are there that I need to display. So instead, we created a drop down type field. In the drop down, I can display only the list of values with only one column. Only one column it displays. But now I want to display with multiple columns. So to display multiple columns, we need to connect some object. We need to connect some table. But here which table I am connecting? A custom table I will connect. So I will create a custom table, a course table custom object where I am displaying multiple columns. So I create my own custom object, a course object with the course name the faculty name, when batch commences, duration, all this. I'll create a custom table, like account, lead, all are standard tables. I create my own custom table with the following fields. I'll link this custom table to, in my account table. I'll link this into account table. So first step, how to create what? A custom object. Then custom fields, custom tab. I'll create a relationship between like a lead or account table, account table to course table and change the lookup layout. The first step is object, fields, tab, and maintain the relationship, maintain the relationship, lookup layout we need to do. Okay. The first step, how to create custom object. So to create custom up, so in our Salesforce, you have number of standard objects are there. Now we need to get my custom object. For that setup, create objects. Set up create object, a custom object I am creating. So we have number of tables are there in Salesforce. Other than I want to create, then set up create objects. So we have new custom object. Which object you want to create? A new custom object. This object can be created through two ways. New custom object or schema builder. Tomorrow we'll see what is schema builder, how to create custom object using schema builder. Tomorrow we'll discuss about schema builder. Now we'll see new custom object directly. So label. How you want to display the label, the table name? Codes, table. Can you give any name? Label name is, I can you how you want to display the object name. That's codes table. Plural name. How you want to display the tab name? How you want to display the tab name? That is code tab. During program, during communication with other objects, which name you have to use? So I can use codes object like that. All names can label, tab name, object name can be similar. I can use codes only. I can use codes. All the names can be similar. To just to differentiate, I given the course table, how to display the table name. I want to display the tab, course tab, and the object name, course tab. When you are creating any object, we have to give these three names compulsory. To create any object, you require label, tab name, and the object name, and compulsory one field will be there. When you have to create any object, compulsory one field will be there, a name field, which can be name field, that name can be any name. The label, label can be any name. Name is a field, but
but label is course name okay like account table in account table name is a field and label is what account name and lead also in the lead table also name will be there but lead name will be so name is a field name the label is its sorry. what type it is a text type or auto name that will sit next day text now text type so we are creating a custom object course table with the course name and the field text type and click save So I created a custom object now, code table, code tab, and API name, code object. And compulsory one field, what you created, name field, and code name is a field label. So to create custom table, so set up build create objects, new custom object, label you are given, plural name, object name, name, code name, it's a name you are given, text type. So automatically a name field is created of course and all custom objects ends or suffix with double underscore c all custom objects see created a custom object underscore c and every object it may be standard or custom object compulsory one field will be there name field and lead table or account table or a custom table any table contains name field Next. so we created a custom table second step how to create custom fields what fields when I click this lookup icon when I click the lookup remaining columns I need to display the remaining columns name duration faculty like that so I want to display remaining fields how to create a custom fields in my custom object go to setup create objects now we have to select the codes. This a lab, This what is a label? Codes table. Codes table. Okay. Now remaining fields have custom fields and relationships. I want to create remaining fields. Yeah. The remaining fields. What are the fields? A fee, faculty, duration, discount like that. Faculty is what text type. The text data type. Next, length 15 characters. While creating a field, length you are given, name you are given, who can access your field? While creating a field, we have security. So in my organization, we have different type of employees who can access your field. So it's visible to all types of users, marketing people, managers, sales, everyone can access visible to all users. Next. That field can be added to the layout, add to the codes layout, save. Save means it stops. The field is created. A faculty field with a double underscore C text type. Next, similarly, one more field like duration, a pick list data type. A new field, pick list type. duration enter values what are values you want now in months you have create you can create the duration of that course next who can access the field visible to alerts next save a new whether you want to create one more field same date and time when badge commences, the field I want to get, a badge commences. So next, badge commences. Next. You can create any number of fields. No, only one. Only one field you have to create. Since we are providing security, no? For that reason, you have to specify. Save on you whether you want to create one more field. Badge commences, fee, currency type. Like that you can create. Discount, faculty, duration, all. We created all the customer. When go to objects, codes table, we created name, duration, faculty, badge commences. So three custom fields you created. Set up, build, create object. 
new custom fields currency type fee percentage discount type date and time badge commencements pick list duration all custom fields ends with double underscore c in every field you have the id the name when the date is created so two steps object created we created a course object underscore c we have created a custom fields okay and then we need to create a tab why you need to query? we created a structure table has been created a course table i need to enter the values onto a table i need to enter the values onto tables then i have to create what tab so through tab when you go for account table then only i can enter the values no and select account and click new i can enter the value same like that i want to create my own tab i want to create my custom tab object is created table is created structure is created now i need to maintain a tab set up create tab set up create tabs where i can create a new tab new custom so we have types custom tab web tabs vf tabs like that sir you want to connect to visual force tab when you want to connect to url web tab like that so create custom tab we create custom tab to connect to table new custom tab to whom i need connect just now i created a table course table to that table i want to connect i'm creating a tab tab links to in a table select the course table so which color you want to display select the color i'm creating a tab a tab links to in a table and how the table should display which color next so my tab is visible to all types of users my tab is visible to all users next add the tab to all the list of applications in my list of application i need to add say now a course tab is created the name you again course tab it clicks the course tab when you click course tab i can enter the course name the course name i can select the course name faculty duration like that you can select Okay. so we can enter that so how create it setup create tab new custom tab now it won't display why already my object has been linked to a tab so i cannot create one more tab to the same object already my object has been linked to tab so i cannot create one more tab to the same object so tab and object are one to one relationship tab and object are one to one relationship a tab links to only object set up will create object new custom course table course table select the color which color you want and selection of tab it enters the record values i can enter the values that right? you can enter the values which are tab always links to only one object and tab and object are one to one relationship links to only one so when you create one more time it gives none i cannot create one more time on selection of tab displays a list of records now i entered some records course tab new you create a tab and display the fields if you want you can add some other fields also if you want to add the fields where you have to go set up create object course table so we have fields are there if you want to add some other fields you can add some other fields you can add some other fields a fee field you want currency type currency type and add some already tab is created now i am creating some other fields so i want some other field a discount field percentage data type discount i'm creating a custom fields add the field to the layout save it to check in course tab 
click new fields are displaying whatever fields you added it displays automatically and add some course name the duration what how many days and then set the when batch commences we can get scroll 10 save the record is when you save the record a record id is generated here a unique record is when you click the save it saves the record with a unique record id under ap4 asia pacific server asia pacific server it saves a new record clone clone means copy of the same record the same record values are copied clone means same copy of the values and that's that's when the batch comments with the date and time data type you have selected then save that it saves the record or you can clone the same values you'll get it then click save it saves the records on codes tab it displays the list of records it's in a codes tab it displays the records so when you select the list of records so when you save the record a unique record it is generated so created object created fields created tab now next step how to customize the tab layout when you click a tab how many columns only one column i am displaying i want to display remaining columns what the value centered that i need to display that's got codes tab layout that's where you have to go shortcut edit columns edit column how many columns i need to display so when i click the tab how many columns i need to display edit columns fee discount faculty duration batch commences record id then click save displays the remaining columns that's called tab layout when you click a tab how many columns i need to display when you click new again i can display one other column when batch comments as free when that's when you click codes tab it displays you can edit the value That's the way how you can customize this code tab, quick access, edit columns. And edit columns will display the number of columns. Object, fields, tab, tab layout. I create a lookup relationship. You created object. Now I need to link. I need link in my account table. I go to account table, codes table, I should link here. I am in the account table. Being in the account table, earlier I used to display which type of field. Click new. It displaying in the pick list. Displaying in the pick list data type. I don't want pick list. I want to connect like this. Look up icon. It connects to all the columns. Clear? So how to create look up relation between account and codes. How I need communicate from account to table to course table using lookup using lookup relationship I am maintaining that's how to connect from that's for that go to account shortcut view fields I am creating a new field in account table I am creating a new field in account table I am creating a new field data type lookup relationship you have seen date, date and time, formula data type, text table, percentage. Like that you have created one more data type, lookup relationship. It creates a relationship that links this object to another object. I am in account object. Being in the account object, I am connecting to another object. Another object connects. Next. To whom I need connect? Codes table. 
I'm connecting to codes F. So I'm creating a field. I'm creating a field which links to another object, a codes table object. I'm creating a new field. Which type of field? Lookup field. Lookup field connects into codes table. Next. What label you want to display here? So the codes table. Next. So visible to all users. Next. Add the field layout. Add the field to the layout. To my account layout. Next. Then click save. Now I am creating a new field. When check in account table. I click refresh. A new field has been created. A codes table. Lookup icon. I click this lookup icon it connects to codes names but I am not displaying other columns no the purpose of creating lookup icon is what to display the columns if it is single column no need for going for the lookup relation no if it's single means single column means pick list is enough the purpose of creating lookup is to connect to codes table so I created a lookup relationship. I created a lookup how? View fields. New field. Lookup field. Next. To whom I need connect? Select the codes tab. To whom I need connect codes table. Next. I can give the name CD. Next. Next, I want to connect, I want to create the relationship to whom I need access, add the field to the layout. See. So a new field has been created in our account table. It is displaying only one column. Okay. So now what is happening here? So lookup relation, select data type, lookup data type. So to whom I need connect codes label details what field name you want to give displaying displaying only one column currently displaying one column result it's not displaying all the columns it's not displaying all the columns displaying only name column so for that so when you click codes tab see when you click codes tab when you click new this is called page layout. When you go to codes tab, you click new. This is called page layout. When you click codes tab, I'm displaying multiple columns. This is called tab layout. Page layout, tab layout. You go for account table, click new. It connects to lookup. This is called lookup layout. This is called lookup. When you click lookup icon, how many columns I need to display in my codes? When you select my codes, how many columns I display? This is called lookup layout. Is it? Go to codes page layout. How to display fields? The codes tab, click new. So when you click new, this is called page layout. On codes tab layout, on selection of codes tab, it displays number of columns. That's called codes tab layout. And one more require codes lookup layout so to lookup layout to display lookup layout I want to display multiple columns go to codes tab currently I'm displaying only one column in my account table in my account table I'm displaying only one column displaying only one column I want to display remaining columns also to display remaining columns also go to codes tab view object scroll down there is an a search layouts to display remaining column go to search layout there is in a lookup dialog there is in a lookup dialog edit which are columns you want you can select faculty duration fee discount batch comments as record item like that you can select which are columns you want you can select that and say where you went? We went to codes tab. 
page layout that's in a search layouts in the search layouts lookup dialog add the columns now go to account tab and refresh now quotes table it displays the multiple columns I can select only one column I cannot select all the column I can select only it's in a value remaining va remaining columns are only for display purpose I cannot select this value I can select only name I can select only name column remaining columns are only for display when I select this one displays the remaining columns this is called lookup layout connecting to a course table how many columns I need to display for that you should go to course tab quick access scroll down search layouts select the which are columns you want and then multiple columns are displays object fields tab tab layout then you create a lookup layout then modify the layout so uh, earlier it was displaying drop down no no I don't want drop down I can select lookup layout I want to modify the layout how to modify the layout edit layout I want to edit the layout change the layout I can remove I can re I can remove the codes I can drag and drop the codes table I can remove change I can. earlier it was a drop down I removed that drop down if you want you can get it back again you can get it if you want if you don't want remove that so now in the accounts table you will find the codes which is in a lookup relation it's connect to lookup you can just select which are hmm? select which are column you want it's going like that it comes it's called customize account remove the codes pick list field drag and drop codes fields that's so we custom details fee discount amount balance fee are display so now we went to account table new Kiran Kumar course name select the course name which fees you require you can select 10% and set then you are displaying discount amount balance so just now we created what we created a lookup connecting to another table and from that table I am displaying the list of values select whichever value you want ok next payments how to do the payments related that's called opportunity table a customer joined for a course he joined for a particular course Join for sales for quotes and given the fee 12k 10% discount save it now my requirement is he has done 12,000 rupees discount amount 1200 10,800 display now he has done some payments a payments comes in where opportunity table customer does some payments so go for new opportunity customer payments click new opportunity Kiran opportunity means who is paying the money Kiran is paying the money and how the lead has come phone through phone has come how much amount 5000 rupees is paying the money close date is a payment date close date is a payment date the stage different stages are there prospecting qualification like this default when you are doing any payment default different stages are there how you do the payments or I can give my own values also I can give my own stage when you select particular stage a percentage value are getting see so I can I can add my own values in where stage field so I need to customize opportunity table also for that so up so when you go for account table you click opportunity I am doing the opportunity 5000 rupees closed it so if you want to display my own values here 
quick access view fields a stage field go to stage field I need to include my own values a stage field I can write my new values new first installment a 50 percent has done a probability probability of 50 but it displays the value it displays the first installment how much value has done same second installment I can reorder that values where do you want in the order so you check it in opportunity refresh it displays my own value first in 750 when you select second yes so I'm doing opportunity with 5000 and 28 to the 28 to it displaying it's not displaying current date it's not displaying the current date for that in the setup change the user time zone user format select our SFDC user Edit. change the time zone English as till it is so change English India and here GMT 530 Now if go for opportunity, refresh, displays, match. So when you click save, I'm saying the record. Stage, first installment, probability 50%. Save. So when you go for account name Kiran Kumar, under Kiran Kumar record, he has done one payment, first installment. 5000 rupees on March 1st again one more payment has done new opportunity under the Kiran Kumar a person Raju is came and he is doing some payment Raju is paying the money amount like 4000 he has done the close date he has done on the payment like 20th or second a second installment he has done Probability is how much percentage has done just to display the message. Save. Now when you go for our patch, when you go for account, select Kiran Kumar record. 12,000. Displaying 5,000, 4,000. So payments have done. Two payments have done. So to pay the customer payments, go to our patch, tap click new, enter some name account name under that account name amount you are paying the close date on which date you are doing the payment click opportunity enter the name amount close date stage whichever stage you want you can give whichever stage you want you can give how to customize the stage field in the stage field I want to display my own values first and second installment like that if you want to include my own values Go to opportunity view field, select stage field, first installment, second installment like that. And automatically the first 50. The final step, the final step, how to create roll up summary fields. How to create roll up. Roll up means you have done 5 plus 4, 9. So its balance is affecting? Balance affecting? No. I want to create such fields. That's called roll up summary fields when you do the payments 5 plus 4 it's what 10 plus 4 whatever amount is there so you are displaying 4 plus 3 plus 3 10 so total amount 10,000 number of payments 3 like that I want to display these fields are called roll up summary fields you have done some payments that payments I have to do summarize I want to sum this amount to column. I want to display total amount. How many payments I have done? Three payments I have done. Number of payments three. Like that. So I want to create this fields where at the account table. Account and opportunity as a relationship is that standard parent and child relation. 
it is a parent child relationship when i do any child payments that child relation the child payments have to summarize and i have to display that fields at the parent level at which parent account level so i want to create a new a custom fields of type roll up summary fields in my account object summarizing its child which child opportunity object clear so how to create roll up summary fields summarizing child opportunity fields so where have to go where have to create roll up summary fields at the parent level or child level huh where have to create roll up summary fields parent level summarizing child records so now go to account table view fields new fields i'm creating a new fields of type roll up roll up means summarizing its child records next what type number of payments are done number of payments next field label on account table as a relation with opportunity it's already relationship is there we are not created anything already a relationship a parent and child relationship opportunity relation so it's a parent and child i require count select the count function how many records are existing in opportunity how many records are existing open count next add that field to the layout next and click i want to create one more field save and new to create one more field of type roll ups i want to create one more field roll up summary field next what type total amount this field i want to create total amount field total amount field next account as a relation with opportunity already relation parent child i require what sum like minimum max only this functions i cannot write all i can summarize the total amount of amount i can find maximum amount in that like it's sum on which field amount on which field you want sum on which field you want sum amount field visible to all users add the field to the layout i like that you can get maximum amount field save and new i want to create roll up summary maximum amount maximum amount in that particular field account as relation with open find the maximum amount so in the amount field what is the maximum amount next say so we created all custom in account table if we refresh you created three roll up summary fields see you have done the payments how much 5 plus 4 9000 maximum on 5000 number of payments to this fields has been created created roll up summary account tab quick access view fields new custom fields select data type roll up summary master as an account summarize object is what opportunity roll up type sum roll up type sum on which field you want to sum amount field similarly number of payments is one type of roll up summary field roll up type count i am counting this like that you create three fields maximum amount number of types number of payments have done you created all roll up summary fields i need to place that fields in this i want to customize the layout place that fields in this layout drag and drop so that's customize account page layout so shortcut edit layout so you place maximum amount here total amount here number of payments here drag and drop the fields how you want so we created roll up summary fields drag and drop here 
and click save. This total amount nine thousand I have done. But does balance is affecting? Huh? You have done the payments five plus four nine, and discount you again ten percent. It's affecting twelve hundred. But balance is affecting? No. Why? Yesterday, yesterday you created balance field. What is the balance field formula? P minus, P minus discount or discount amount? Discount. discount amount. Does you are including total amount? No. We just drag and drop total amount. It will not decrease that amount. No. When you place amount before the balance, it it cannot understand. We have to change the balance formulas. P minus discount amount and total amount you have to include. Still, you create balance field, which is a fee minus discount amount. You created a total amount. You created total amount of type, a roll up summary type, but we are not included in the balance field. For that, now, how to customize page layout? Now, I need to customize balance formula field. Go to the view fields, change balance field. Change the balance field. Did P minus. Let's say create P minus discount amount. Now plus total amount. Which type of field? Total amount. Roll up field. Select this roll up field. And close it. P minus discount amount plus total amount. And click save. Now go to account table, refresh. Now it affects here. Balance up. <coughs> if I do any payment once, if I do one more payment, a new opportunity. If I'm doing one more payment, a new opportunity. Kiran, on on account of Kiran, account name is Kiran Kumar. He has done some two thousand rupees. Unclosed it. Like second installment he has done. Fifteen uh, hundred yeah, given. No, it accepts. It gives minus. If I give a three thousand rupees, will give error. Validations chapter is there. There will display error message. How to display error messages? If I give three thousands, Kiran Kumar account, it gives. So five plus three eight plus four twelve twelve. So minus twelve hundred it displays. Can you error message? That's in next chapter. This all basics. No, this I'm analyzing this. We'll display validation rules like that. We're displaying minus twelve hundred. This all roll up sum. So customizing fee minus discount amount and total amount. Then displaying the values fee minus total amount. So you add some new opportunities. It updates. If you delete any payment, for example, I delete five thousand rupees opportunity. Delete the record. When you delete the opportunity record, it updates in account table also automatically. Balance, discount amount, total amount changes, number of payments, everything it updates automatically. Maximum amount is changing. You created a customer. Go to accounts table. A new account. Account. Ajay. Raju, customer joined for a particular course. A fee of twelve k. Ten percent. See, twelve thousand and discount amount should come automatically. To get this fee and discount automatically, there is a roll up summary field. Here you are selecting the course name. Here you are selecting the course name. Fee and discount is there now. When you select sales for the fee and discount should date automatically means there is a workflow concept is there in that chapter we'll discuss how to get the fee and discount at we are entering the values here to allocate and but you should get automatically and that will discuss workflow chart now again fee and discount say customer joined for a course and paid the amount discount amount you are getting total amount you have to do so now I have done the payment payment will come where opportunity. The customer payments a new opportunity, and particular date we have done a 4K as a first installment. Who has done? As a Raju itself has done payment, or any other person has done? 
let's say if you want clone same record it clones yeah then g1 has done some payment the 3000 have done 3000 payment have done save it okay. so now when you go for rajiv account let's say displaying 4 plus 3 7000 the balance is playing. you are updating the balance so what are you have done the payments it is affecting here in the discount of discount amount as per if you change the discount amount here 20 it affects here automatically it affects the discount amount balance also changes number of payments everything if you want this type of concept in java.net you have to write a big program you ask any java.net people i want a customer and customer payments page when customer has done payment, I should update in the parent. You have to create account table, opportunity table, design the front end. When customer connectivity, database connectivity, when you click save, I should up. When you do the new payment, when you do the payments, it updates in the roll up summary fields. When you delete that record opportunity table, it should update in the parent. All that you have to write a big program. Yet single, just one or two minutes. We we'll create a customer payments clear. If you delete any record, I should write a program again. When you click delete, I should update which fields. I in this all fields I need to update. But they are linked already. When you delete any particular record, any opportunity, it updates in the fields automatically. It updates all in account fields. The roll-up summary fields, everything are updated. Formula fields are updating. When you add any new record in the opportunity, it updating the parent field also. The parent record also update. A very easy customization. The same concept earlier in CBEL CRM, it was very difficult to write program. CBEL, in SAP CRM means you have to write two days program. SAP CRM. In ABAP you have to write the program. You need to write here. Very easy to customize. Add the fields, customize it. Yeah. So we create object, fields, tab. We create a lookup relationship, lookup layout, and opportunity object for payments. Then you create a roll-up summary fields. So yesterday we have created a, a drop-down type field. And codes as a drop-down type, epic list type you created. Now today what I've done, instead of drop-down type, in the drop-down type it displaying only one column. To display multiple columns, you created a new field word lookup type. Look up data type, multiple columns are there. Where you have multiple columns to display the multiple. So we are creating a custom object. We are creating a custom object. Object, custom fields. What are other fields you want? Tab, enter the records, create a lookup relation, lookup layout. The first step, how to create object. In Salesforce object is nothing but a table. While creating an object, we have to give three names, label, plural name, object. Label, how you want to display the table name, how to display the tab name. During communication, what name you have to use for the object name, that's a course name. And whenever you create any object, compulsory one field has to create a name field. You have to create a name field, but internally the label can be anything. So we created a, a tab, label, everything and the name field has been created. Then second step, how to create remaining fields. The remaining custom fields has to create. The duration field, the faculty, fee, discount, all the such fields I want to create. I want to create remaining. We'll come master detail later. <coughs> Setup will create object. So I'm creating course table, remaining custom fields I want to create, a currency type, percentage type, date and time, quick list type. All custom fields ends with a double underscore C. All custom, standard object or custom fields all with double underscore C. So I created a tab to enter the values, enter the values. So while creating a tab, so we created an object, we created a fields. Next step. How to create custom tab. 
tab is for which purpose i want to enter the records to enter the records you have to create a tab so a tab links to an object a tab links to an object to enter the values so next time a tab and object are one to one relationship it's a one to one so just now we create lookup relationship parent and child relationship that is a master detail relationship in the coming class we will see master detail relationship it's a one to one relation a tab and object are one to one relations when you select code sub you entered some values for it is displaying only one column remaining columns i want to display display remaining columns then go for tab layout when you save the record a unique record id is generated here we save the record a unique record a unique record id is generated of north america in a1 in a2 in asia pacific or india asia pacific like that gets then select the tab remaining columns are displayed fields tab tab layout now create a lookup relationship so we created a table we created the fields tab everything is done now my account object should link to lookup my account object should link to a course table i want to link so lookup relation between account to course create a lookup relationship so while creating a lookup field it asks to which table you want to connect so i am in account table i'm being in the account table i'm connecting to which table you want to connect so which field label you want to display it displays so while now my lookup icon connects to course table it displaying only one column so display other columns also go to course tab so we have different layouts are there page layout when you click new it's a page layout when you click a tab it's in a tab layout similarly layout course tab layout when you click course tab how many columns that means lookup tab click the lookup tab remaining columns are displayed so now so when you click lookup icon remaining columns are displayed when you click the lookup icon remaining columns are displayed object fields tab lookup Now customize page layout. You drag and drop course field here. I let pick up list is there no that you delete that pick up list. I place the drag and drop. So you customize account object by creating a new field course lookup layout. Adding the fields. Next, I want create a payments customer payments. The customer payments comes in which table? Opportunity table. So customer, you have done some payments. This payments opportunity tab. Enter amount. So while doing opportunity, enter some name. You have some other fields are there. First enter amount and the stage. <coughs> enter some opportunity amount field, and then you have stage. So which type of stage you want? So you have to create stage field. Stage field here. So select stage field. Enter first. By default, some other values are there. I can give my own values first, second installment. So while doing any payment, you can give your own fields first at second installment like this. Next, I need to create roll up summary fields. The final step, roll up. Roll up means when you do the payments, this summarize I need fields total amount. Number of payments like that. I want to create a roll-up summary fields. And go to opportunity to do the payment. Like that, you have done three payments. The uh, three payments I want to display what is total amount. And number of payments how much I have done that I want to display. For that, so roll-up summary fields are created at which level? Parent level. Roll-up fields are created at parent level. Summarizing child records. Summarizing the child records. I want to summarize total amount. And how many payments have done? That all I want to summarize. How to create roll-up summary fields? So roll-up summary. Select sum, total amount sum. What is the count? How many records? What is the maximum amount like that? It is place.
the maximum amount number of payment like that you created once roll up summary fields are created you customize where you want you can place the fields here so whatever fields you created total amount i placed it number of payments are done everything but does it affects the balance field no total amount field you have placed it but it not affecting the balance field so for that you have to say in the balance field go to balance field change fee minus discount amount and your total amount also so whatever you have done the payments it affects in my balance field automatically whatever payments you have done it should affect in the total amount okay it should affect in the balance field so balance is a formula field the balance formula has been modified so once i do payments it comes object tabs fields everything that so we created what today new custom object custom tab lookup relationship or relationship is it so this all chapter so discuss so what i have discussed in this three days this is a basics class is there the yesterday class the demo class and today's class also i'll upload to this admin basics class today's class also upload just go through this three hours class that's enough when you complete this three hours class complete this three hours class what are the classes are there then we have the not been in our admin class we have eight chapters are there and go for admin notes we have eight chapters are there schema validation workflow rules services data report security all this we'll do one by one chapter every week it takes one chapter every week it takes one week every week one chapter we'll discuss and tomorrow we'll discuss schema builder so every wednesday new chapter we'll discuss so like that when you do the more payments the validation rules i need to display and then when i select code's name a fee and discount should come automatically a workflow rules when a customer has given a complaint services now to export import the data data management i want to analyze my data i want to analyze the data that means the reports how to maintain security so when a user logins a different layout should come a different fields level security out provide how to transport application to other users this all so every wednesday news we have complete this basics classes we have complete this basic class they can join at any batch at any time once you complete the basics concepts and every wednesday we start the new chapter if you miss anyone miss any particular chapter no problem there is no communication between one chapter to another chapter no communication if you miss any one week classes no problem every wednesday we start the new chapter clear yeah? but you have to practice this 3 hours class compulsory once you practice this 2 hours class yesterday's class and today's class it's enough you can join at any time you can join at any time clear similarly development basics also we want to complete development basics class also the development basic class also we have like this development basics so all the three days class is there if you complete this development basics the same development as the chapters are there once development basics done the development notes will be there as so, for real ui triggers the chapter this all independent chapter can go for this independent chapter so that's an so whoever complete this development basics you can go for development chapter once a 50% admin development is done then go for integration chapter and advanced sales force and the project oriented love this it's not at a sunday 11 to 2 that's project oriented If 50% admin development is done, they can do advanced sales force seven to ten, or eight to eleven like that. Then eleven to two, a project will be discussing. A four uh, project will be discussing. Okay. So first complete admin basics. Once complete admin basics, then you can join in admin chapter any time, any Wednesday. 
Similarly, whenever you want to go for development part, this is a development part. The so development basics have to complete. The development basics, when you complete this development basics, then you can join this development SOK chapter, UI chapter, triggers, applications like that. If this 50% admin development is done, then go for a weekend advanced Salesforce integration, the same Salesforce project oriented also. So whoever completes all these models, that's model one, two, three, four, you can apply for the jobs as a pressure level or experience level below two years. When you complete all these modules, one, which where admin, and two, development, and three, it's an integration lightening. And then module four, with projects. We are discussing a four projects. Then you can apply as a fresher or less than a two years experience. If you want more projects real time, if you want real time, then you have we are starting a new project like six a live projects explanation you are going. Live project scenarios. Which an again two months course is there. For the people who go with more than two place years, when they want to go two places, there is a six live project experience are there. Real time scenarios, they will discuss this one. But for below two years, these four modules are enough. You go more than two, then go for this six live projects. Clear? Thank you. Any doubts? Any doubts? Any doubts? For this for experience paper. Clear? Chapan. Sir, I think in the demo classes, I think it's a little bit better. Sorry, interest rate check. No, no, no. These admin basics are in the kitchen. The admin development basics, it's shared for everyone. It's such Salesforce admin basics and development basics. It contains all the basics. Just give your ID, you can share this. So you can go through this admin basics and development basic class. And this admin basic can clear this all this. I'll upload this today's class also. And go through all these classes. Any doubts? Thank you.